Okay, so first thing you need to do is open Blender. So you need to find the Blender icon on your desktop. It'll look like this, and then go ahead and open it up. When it opens up, if it's your first time on there, it might be asking you something different than this, because um, you can change the different way that you want your Blender to look. So you can mess with that. If not, if it shows this, you're just going to press general. Okay. And we're just going to click and drag over these objects here. And we're going to delete them by holding down or by pressing the X key on your keyboard and click delete. So the only thing, or there's a lot of things that are different about using Blender compared to um, Adobe. Usually you could just select something and backspace it to delete it, but you can't do that here. You have to press X. Okay. So, um, you'll need to get kind of used to just moving this around. Um, I'm holding my middle mouse button, the little scrolly part of the mouse. I'm just pressing it down to kind of rotate my view. Um, if you need to move your view over, like, I don't know, you hold down shift and press down your scroll thing to move it. Okay. And then zooming in and out, you can just uh, do with the scrolly wheel like you like normal. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a mesh cylinder. So if you come here to add, go to mesh cylinder, you'll see all the different kinds of shape uh, forms that you can create. So just pick the cylinder for now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, we have these different tools here. This is the move tool where you can move it up and down along these arrows. Okay. And the good thing about using the arrows is that if you're only trying to move it like a certain direction, it's not going to accidentally move in another direction. Okay. Um, we've got the rotate tool here where you can rotate it along the different, um, axis and if you're not sure which axis it is you can always look here the blue is z red is x and y is green you can also just rotate it completely like that and then our scale tool is what we're going to be using so we're going to make a three layer cake with this so first i'm going to scale it out along the x red axis and green just to make it a little bit wider okay i still wanted to have like a round shape on the top And then I'm going to scale it on the blue to make it thinner for the, like the bottom base of our cake. Okay. So after that, um, everything else, most of everything else we're going to be doing is in edit mode. So here you have your different modes and we're going to go into edit mode. So you can do that by just clicking here and going into edit mode. You can also press tab on your keyboard. You can see now I'm back in object mode. I press tab again and I'm back in edit mode. Okay, so if you can remember that to press tab, it's just one less thing you have to go up and look for. Okay. Over here, you have the different uh, types of things you can select. This first one here is your vertex select. So if you click on something, it's only going to select the vertex of that shape. Okay, the next one is edge select. So if you click that, it's only going to select the edges of the shape. Then you have face select. So face select will select the actual face of the shape. Okay, so we're going to use the face select and we're going to click here on this top face of our cake. And we're going to use this tool, which is the extrude tool. Okay, so it should look something like this. Sorry, we're not going to use the extrude tool yet. We're going to use inset faces, which is right here, the second one. You should have this green dot here. And sometimes you have to get at a good angle to really see this. So we're going to start dragging it inwards to make another face where our second cake is going to come out. Okay. So now I have that. So now I'm going to use the extrude and I'm going to extrude this out however tall you might want it, okay, for our second layer. Now I'm going to make your third layer. So we're going to go back to the inset face, drag it inward, grab our extrude, and extrude that out again. Now if you want, you can go ahead and build as many cakes up there as you want.
I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is with our edge select, we want to select this edge, but we want to select the whole entire edge. So how you're going to do that is you're going to hold down the Alt key, hold down Shift, I mean, sorry, just Alt, and it'll select the entire edge, okay? So now that we have that, we want to use our bevel tool, which is right here. Okay, go ahead and start beveling that, and then you're going to use the scroll. I'm still holding it, okay, don't let go. Um, with your scroll on your mouse, you're going to start scrolling it, and it's going to just kind of uh, bevel those edges and make them rounded, okay? Then we're going to do the same thing here. So I'm holding down Alt, select the edge. I already have my bevel tool selected. Do the same thing and kind of just scroll with your mouse, mouse to... Uh, get those edges curved. Same thing here, I'm holding down Alt, I'm gonna select that edge, which ends up selecting the face, which is okay. And I'm going to bring that out and bevel that in, okay? Now what you can do is you can go back into object mode or hit tab on your keyboard, and you can kind of see what that is starting to look like. So what we want to do is we want to right click on our cake and select shade smooth. So that just kind of smooths everything out. Okay. And in a minute, we're going to talk about how to add color to this. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and make our next object. So I'm going to come and click on this Y and that'll give me my nice frontal view here. And I'm going to add a mesh cube. Okay. This is what we're going to do our Rubik's cube sorry rubrics cube go ahead and get the move tool and just move it over here to the side so it's not right here with your cake I'm gonna bring mine up a little bit and I'm just gonna scale it so that it's kind of similar to my cake you know what? I'm gonna bring this down I'm gonna use my move tool and I'm just gonna bring it down to that red line and then I'm gonna bring this up to the red line Okay, so now back here to this cube, make sure the cube is selected, and we're going to go back into edit mode, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to right click, and you're going to click subdivide. Okay, then you want to come down here and open this little panel, and you want to add another cut. So again, we're making a Rubik's, Rubik's cube. I know they have some that look like that, but we're going to make the one with the three and by three by three. Okay, so we have that. Now what we're going to do is use our loop cut tool, which is right here. Okay, so go ahead and grab that. And what you're going to do is come to this first section. You're going to click and drag at the same time so that you can move that cut. And just make the little space here. Come over here, do the same thing. Click and drag it. To make a cut there uh, same thing here click and drag same thing here click and drag now you notice these do go all the way around but we need to come and do these here so same click and drag click and drag you just want to make sure you have them all over which now you should Okay, so now what we're going to do is we want to have our face select, which is this one. And I'm going to hold down Alt and just select one of these little lines. It should select that whole entire line. Now we're going to hold down Alt and Shift together and add the next one. Okay. Keep holding down Alt and Shift. And you're just going to keep selecting these so that we have all of these little... Oh, if you mess up, just Control z undo it. And this one should be at the tip there, okay? So if you have any issues with uh, selecting those, let me know. Again, I was holding down Alt and Shift. That way I could select the whole line and add to the selection. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to use that extrude again. And we're just going to... Oh... We're going to click, hold it down, and we want to go to extrude along normals. And that's going to bring that in a little bit. And you can do it as much as you think you need to. 
Normally, there would probably be black lines here too, but I'm not going to go into that much detail. So now all we have to do is go and add color to this. So what you're going to do is go into object mode and select your cube. You're going to come down here to the material properties. And first you want to go into your material preview, which is right here. So select this one. And when you select that, everything should turn white. Okay. So go ahead and uh, create a new material. And we're going to name this black. We want to do the black first because you know how tricky that was to highlight everything. So go ahead and do that. You're going to click on the base color, which is white. And you're just going to drag the slider down to the black. Okay. Then you're going to go into edit mode for the next part. Okay. So you can go ahead and, and select either a few of these or you can select the whole uh, side here. Go ahead and add a new color. Let's say you're going to do red. Change the base color to red. And then you want to come up here and click assign. Okay. So whatever you selected, it should assign that as red. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make all of these red. So I'm going to click on my red and click assign. And you can always, I don't know why it looks so super dark, but that's okay. You can still change it and it'll only affect the ones that you selected. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and select some other ones, make a new color, add the material, Let's say I'm going to do blue. I'm going to go ahead and name that blue. I'm going to assign that. Okay, so now I have my blue side. And you're just going to keep doing that over and over again, okay? So, you, again, you add your new color. Select the color. Click assign. Okay, so do that until you have all your sides colored. Then for the cake, you can go back into object mode because you cannot select anything else but this shape that you have in edit mode. So you have to go back into object mode, select the cake. You're already in, you have your material properties already. Create a new material. I'm just going to name this cake and then just find a color that you'd like to use for your cake. Okay. If you wanted, you could go into edit mode and you could change or add colors to that. You could do something like that, see what it looks like. Okay. But you don't have to do that. But if you're bored, you finished, maybe you want to do that. Okay. So next, what you're going to do is you're going to create another kind of object here. It can be anything. You can start off with something we haven't used. Although I wouldn't recommend, I would recommend sticking with the cube or the cylinder first. Um, so you could do something where you just add a shape here and just mess with the different things that you can do. So of course if you subdivide it, that's going to let you uh, be able to do some things. You can mess with the extrude, maybe put it back on the regular extrude, maybe just select a certain face. Okay, if you extrude it again, then you can start extruding from here. Okay, so there's a lot of things you can do. It doesn't have to be an actual object, but it can be. If you want to try to make an actual object, you can do that too. But just kind of mess with it and see what you can create or create your own object. Figure out how to do that. Okay, so just mess around with that and see what you come up with. Um, when you're finished, um, I do want you to add color to your other object. Okay, so you should be pretty familiar with how to do that. If you want to go into edit mode and change other different things, please feel free. Okay. So when you're done with that, just kind of zoom out where you can see all of your figures. And you're going to take a screenshot. That's Windows Shift S. 
and maybe just drag over just the shapes. I just need to see your different forms that you created. Again, if this pops up, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. If it does, click on it, save it. That way you can turn it in. If for some reason it doesn't show up, then you can go to your Schoology and click Create and do Control V and it'll paste your last screenshot that you took. Okay, so if you have any uh, trouble with that, just let me know.